Hello YouTubers, it's Karen Lebo with VintageDazzle.Etsy.com here at the start of a new weekly vlog where I show you the items that I'm listing, the items that I'm selling, and other stuff that's going on in my life. Um, I am a reseller on Etsy. I sell vintage jewelry and other small things and a lot of, lately a lot of textiles. And uh, it is Monday night and this is the one sale that I've had today. It's a beautiful old Uncas ring, probably dating from the 1920s, maybe 30s, and it's a faux topaz, and that sold for 38, oops, 38 dollars, free shipping. Almost all my items are free shipping. There may be a few left that aren't, but I'm going forward doing everything free shipping, so. All right. Oh, Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd my little pepper go? Oh, there it is. See the little tiny, tiny little pepper? Oh, it's so cute. So these are last year's pepper plants, and they're looking pretty grim because the weeds just, um, just took them over, but I'm in the process of getting the weeds out. I've done most of this bed today. I'll do the rest tomorrow, maybe. That's our grapevine. I'll do a full garden tour here and sometime this week, maybe. So we still have a bit of daylight left. Hopefully I can get this videoed real quick. Um, first off, is this absolutely to die for? A Navajo cuff bracelet with the big old turquoise. Uh, this has got to be a really old piece. It's all stamped and hand cut. It's really, really cool. It's not marked, but it is tested as sterling silver, and that's a gorgeous piece of turquoise. I priced that at $165. We'll see how that goes. It didn't seem to be, you know, I really looked at a lot of listings on Etsy and tried to price it competitively, but not too low. Um, this is a little sterling sterling silver tack pin. That's like a little cup of coffee. And I priced that at 18. Is that right? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Yeah, 18. And then, oh, starting in on the textiles again. This is a silk shawl. It is the most gorgeous piece of silk I think I've ever seen. It's iridescent. It's purple and blue depending on what how the light hits it, and this light's not doing it justice, but it's just amazing, the color. And it's light and sheer as a cloud, and then it has this gold, gold thread woven in. I think, I don't know where this is, I'm guessing it's got to be Asian and possibly India. I'm not sure about this motif. It's like an angel, but kind of a strange angel. I'm not sure, but it's lovely. Um, I have the shawl listed for $32. I probably could ask more for it if I knew what it was. <sighs> There's only so many pictures I can look at. Um, this is kind of like a, a table mat. It is, it's not just fabric, it's hemmed on all, all sides. And it's a very thick silk with the gold, and more gold um, stitching, uh, weaving, rather. Um, my first instinct is to say that this is French, but I really don't know. But it looks pretty old. Um, it might be like 1930s, but it could also be really old. I don't know. But um, again, if I knew what it was, I could probably ask more for it, but I am asking 28 for it. It does have a little stain on it. Okay, that's what I got listed. And now let me show you what I sold. Okay, we have three items. Uh, the first is this concho belt, which I listed fairly recently. It is silver plated, I think. And I think that that may be real turquoise. Uh, it looks like it was barely ever worn. It's, it's on leather and it's in really good shape. Um, sold that for, where'd you go? About 27. And then we have this um, guilloche enamel locket, the flowers on it. And 
and the locket I sold for, I cannot read my own writing today, 28. And then lastly, we have this little ring with angels. Ooh, got them upside down. Angels. This is a Marsala ring. Sterling silver. Little band with these angels. And uh, that I sold for 22. Hi there. It is Tuesday morning, and I'd like to show you a few things that I got listed yesterday. But first, we have to talk about the brooch of the day. Yay! It's this one right here. And I'll take it off so you can see it a little more closely. This is a cute little novelty brooch. It is brass, I believe. And it's a suitcase with labels on it and then all these little travel-related dangles, vacation-related. We have golf clubs and a sailboat and a dollar bill or a hundred dollar bill, something like that, and a tennis racket. And you're probably looking at this and thinking, why, that looks like Jonette Jewelry or JJ Jewelry. And it does, but in fact, it was made by La Raza. It is signed, I don't know if you can see it, but L. Raza. Probably from the 1980s, and I have that listed for $17. Free shipping. Okay, and on to the recent listings. Uh, this is a ginormous white linen tablecloth with this beautiful kind of sculptural embroidery with roses, very elaborate. And this is this is a very large tablecloth, and it's in great condition. I didn't see any stains or holes or anything in it, and I looked at it pretty carefully. It's um, it's a really nice one. Um, so uh, that one I have listed at 52 and it's like almost three pounds to ship so it's pretty heavy and then we have this very lightweight cotton gauze shawl and it's tie-dyed and look at all the little tiny tiny little tie-dye spots if you've ever done tie-dye you can just imagine how much work this was probably made in India is my guess it's very large, and um, let's see, listed that for 28. Oh God, probably works out to about 10 cents an hour for whoever made it. No, I don't have this open. All right, hold on. This is a little seed bead pouch necklace with fringe on the bottom, a little button closure. And um, I thought when I first saw this that it was antique because see the like the little thread, that light, real lightweight cotton thread that they used to use in very old beadwork. I thought that that meant it was old, but then I started looking more closely at it. And in fact, the rest of the purse is done with nylon. So it is a recent. I don't understand why that fringe is different than the rest of it. But I also did see that there are quite a few of these um, that are dated to like the 1990s. So not super old, but it's really cute. And it's kind of a flapper style with a long chain and a... And fruit salad colors. So I listed that for 22. And then lastly, we have this little Mexican silver adorable brooch with a man leading a donkey, and it has like a little embellishment of a twisted rope there, which is kind of kind of neat. Kind of makes it a little extraordinary. It is signed. It is J. Alvarez. Costco, Mexico, Sterling, and this is going to be like 1940s, maybe even 1930s. It's pre-Eagle Mark. Um, I wasn't able to find out a whole lot about Jay Alvarez, except that he exists, he or she. And I listed that one for 42. There's a little tiny lizard down there. 
to the right of those yellow flowers. It is Tuesday night and I am wrapping up a few things that I'll be shipping tomorrow. It's a very good day for sales today. Thank you, thank you to all of my tubers who have purchased things from me recently. I really appreciate it. Um, this first item is a Steuben glass vase signed and that sold for $110. I think I got that at the at the rummage sale where my mother-in-law lives when they used to have rummage sales. <laughs> They're not doing them right now. Hopefully they'll start up again soon. Um, and then to one of my very best customers, I sold this um, turquoise and sterling silver Navajo cuff bracelet. And that sold for $165. And then she also bought this rhinestone filigree cross with the art glass beaded chain necklace. It's a really nice piece. And that sold for 32 And then um, this is... Okay, let me just open the package. I should have done this before. Hold on. Okay, what this is is two pair of sterling silver stud earrings. One is a just uh, some domes, and then these are little turquoise st studs. And I sold the two pair together for twenty-four dollars. And then this lovely thing. I think this was one of my brooches of the day. Um, I am. I am probably going to forget which ones I've shown you, and I may show you some twice because, you know, I have my favorites. But um, I, I do think this was one, and um, that sold for $29. And then this, I think, you may have already seen this. I hope so, because I'm not going to take it out of the bag. It's um, a green silk uh, table runner with the gold thread woven through it in a floral design. I think it's pretty old and I think it might be French or at least European, some type of European. And that is going to Spain. And I sold that for $28 plus international shipping, which is quite expensive. I wish it wasn't, but it is. Uh, let's see, I think that is all. Okay, here I am. I just had my second COVID shot, so uh, thank goodness that's over with. Two more weeks and I'll be fully protected and I can start living a normal life again, sort of. So it is Wednesday night and um, let's see. These are some items that I listed yesterday. Uh, this is a really incredibly... Um, finely tie-dyed little tablecloth. With, it's got a gold diamond at the center and then it's this forest green cover, color. And um, this tie-dyeing is made with stitching rather than, I know when we were kids doing tie-dye we did it with rubber bands, but this is like stitched up. It's really incredibly fine. Little bridge cloth. Um, I got this. No, hold on, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. I had the wrong list in front of me. Um, this little tie-dyed tablecloth I listed for 25 And then this is a cross-stitch table runner. It's linen with these kind of mythical creatures. We've got like a, I don't know if it's a, a, a goat boy. And then we've got a, a winged unicorn pegasus sort of thing. And... This is, I think this looks like a man octopus, but I don't know. See, look at his legs. I don't know. But he's got a trident and a shield, and he's facing off against the poor unicorn. Um, it's really pretty. It's in good shape. And I listed that for 28 And then this 
is something that I repaired as best I could. Um, I got this in an eBay lot and it, it was not broken when I um, ordered it, when I got it, but when it came, when I opened the box, this celluloid member thing was cracked right in two. So I have glued it. You can see the repair, but I'm, I was feeling pretty happy that I got it as good as I did. I really did want to sell this because um, it's so interesting. This stands for Ancient United Knights and Daughters of Africa, and it is an African-American fraternal benevolent organization that was founded in 1908. And I'm guessing that this probably dates to not too long after the founding. I mean, it looks Victorian, but my husband pointed out, how come the hands are white? And I was like, they probably didn't have, you know, like clip art with African-American people back then. Anyway, um, but it's, it's old and it's neat. And I was doing some digging around and sometimes this um, African-American memorabilia stuff like this can go for a lot of money. So I couldn't find anything like this. I could find very little information about the organization itself. It was founded in St. Louis and it had chapters in Cincinnati and Birmingham, but I really couldn't find out much. So I decided to put it on eBay and I started it out at $75. <laughs> we'll see if there's any interest. Um, and then today I listed this um, Mexican silver. Uh, dates from around the 1930s to 1940s. Really neat old bracelet. Now this mark is interesting because there we go. It says Esterlin 900 made in Mex. And I thought, oh great, you know, it's a maker's mark. Well, I couldn't find any makers named Esterlin. And it turns out that Esterlin just means sterling in Spanish. Uh, and it's, but it is also says 900, which is not quite sterling according to American standards. And I think Mexico also considers sterling silver to be 95, so I don't know what the deal is, but it was before they really cracked down on the regulation of silver. You know, things were a little more loosey-goosey in the 30s and 40s. But it's beautiful, and then uh, there's also a pin. I listed that separately. I'm going to link the listings to each other. Um, the pin I listed for um, 32. Oh, now I don't know. I think it was 32. 34, something like that. And then uh, the bracelet I listed for, oh my god, it had it in my head two seconds ago, 58, I think. Sorry, 59 on the bracelet. Um, yeah, and this, if you happen to see the haul video, which probably has been posted by now, um, this was black. Look at the back of this. This is what the whole front looked like, completely black. Normally I don't polish silver jewelry, but this was gross. It did not look pretty at all, so I gave it a minimal polish just so you could see that it is silver. <laughs> pretty cool. And this being Wednesday night, it is date night, and we are going to have our first takeout in months, probably, other than when we go down to see um, Sally. We always get something to eat there, but... Um, Lately, we've been doing all, you know, cooking ourselves or frozen dinners and things like that. So we're going to get some takeout Mexican food tonight to celebrate the fact that I got my second COVID shot. And I'm very excited about that. And my arm hurts, but otherwise I feel fine. Just had to show you this sign. It's outside the Mexican restaurant where we're picking up our dinner. Poor fishies. And here it is, Wednesday night. I am all full of nachos. And these are the two pieces that I'm wrapping to ship off tomorrow. This is an alpaca bracelet from Mexico. Alpaca, if you, if you don't know, it's like German silver. It's not real silver, but it, it does a really convincing job. It's pretty. And it's got this abalone heart. It's very
very nice. It's marked, um, it's not marked. So I guess I'm, oh, it is marked. This is Alpaca, Mexico. Uh, that was 24 and then this, I love this purple glass cameo. So pretty. Um, and that was 26. It's a, it's a brooch. It's not marked. Thank you for okay. that. Here is a ring around the sun. Is it the most bizarre thing you've ever seen? Wow. That is so cool. Well, here it is. Friday night. And I am still a bit under the weather from the from the vaccine. Um, it's not, it's, it's a lot better than it was, but I'm still really dragging and running a fever and that sort of thing. I took some Advil and I'm feeling better, but you know, just when I think I'm all better, it comes back. And this is the end of the third day, so they said three days and it's supposed to be the max it would last. So hopefully by tomorrow I will be better. But anyway, this is the one sale I had today. It's this lovely enamel tulip brooch from the Netherlands. It's 835 silver. And that sold for that sold for $34. I'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be in better shape. So it is Saturday night and we are making hamburgers, but these are not ordinary hamburgers. These are impossible burgers. They are meatless. You can actually buy the stuff in a package like ground beef. It looks and feels almost like ground beef. And um, we're going to try frying them up on the stove. Got my tomato. Oh, and I have sweet potato fries that I'm going to put in the oven. So, pretty cool. Hi there. It is Sunday morning already and um, I think I'm finally back to normal after my vaccine issues. I was really, really suffering there for a while with the fever and the fatigue and the chills and everything else, but, but I'm feeling great today. And uh, so I do have a few things that I haven't done much listing the last couple of days, but I will show you a few things that I've listed and the brooch of the day, which I am not wearing. <laughs> so hold on. So here is the brooch of the day. And this um, appears to be from Mexico, although it's not marked at all. And it's an abalone and enamel inlaid brooch made from alpaca, which is like German silver. It is not real silver, but it looks very silver-like. Um, it, it doesn't wear as well as silver. It will eventually, if you wear it a lot, it will start to look a bit dull and you won't be able to shine it. But that takes a long time to happen, and this one is in great shape. It still looks very silvery and pretty. And, um, yeah, that is priced at $21. I just looked at it. Yes, okay. <laughs> I was afraid I'd forgotten. $21. So, the brooch of the day. And let me show you a few things that I've listed. Okay, so first up we have this, uh, linen lot there's a table runner which is got this pattern on it this is tiny 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 cross stitch um, so we have a table runner and then we have some three napkins with this triangle embroidered on it and then we have um, four small napkins that also have this stripe like this on it and they're linen very fine very pretty the only issue is uh, a couple of the napkins are a little bit yellowed I didn't wash them. I know most people wash linens when they get them, but these had already, they were already in really clean, nice condition. And I, sometimes washing them ruins them, so I I did not. But they might, the yellow, the yellow color might come out. It's not terrible. I mean, you can kind of see it here. This one's a little more yellow than the table runner. But anyway, I listed those for um, 24 for the lot. And then uh, this is an ICAT or ECOT skirt. You can see the weaving 
pattern in this. This is probably Indonesian. It's it's some type of Asian. And then, but the really cool part is the weaving, the way it's woven down here. These beautiful, beautiful, intricate patterns. Isn't that pretty? I just love this. This is a very tiny skirt with a 26-inch waist. Um, probably be about a size four, or maybe a six. I don't know, but it's little. Um, but it's really beautiful. It's very thick and it's lined. Very nice skirt. Uh, listed that for 27. And then this, if you happen to see the haul video where I was showing this, um, this is a piece of Japanese silk. I didn't know what it was. It is very, very long. It is more, it's like four yards long and over a foot wide. And it's got this gorgeous brocade pattern over both sides end to end. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, I found out that this is an obi. I, I just didn't believe it at first because it's so thick. I didn't see how practical it would be, but it's not the kind that you tie in a bow. It's a, it's a formal obi. It is the, one of the most formal styles because it has the decoration all over it. And um, anyway, it's over four pounds of silk here and it's really neat because you can display these by like hanging them over a dowel and using them as a wall decoration you can use them as table runners if you have a really long table or you can make them into pillows because look, they're already it's already open inside you could just cut it into sections and make it into beautiful silk pillows it's a really cool thing anyway i listed it at 165 Part of that is because it's going to be expensive to ship because it's so heavy. Okay, now we have some jewelry. Uh, I listed these uh, spun silver canateal earrings. Screw back. They are marked, but the mark is so worn I just couldn't make it out. It's, it's on the back of the earring. Um, there's one, one dangle missing. And because of that, I listed these for 19. And we have the little spun silver peacock. I can't believe that tiny, delicate little comb is still intact. And all the dangles are there, all the pearls are there. Sweet little articulated tail on him. And the peacock I listed for, if I could read my own writing, says 22. And then. Here we have a Mexican silver choker necklace. And this design, I have discovered, is called Los Cocos, which translates to coconuts. And um, it was designed by one of the Castillo brothers in the 1940s. However, this is not signed, and, and there's really no guarantee that it was made by Castillos because uh, Mexican silversmiths just borrow each other's motifs all the time, constantly. I don't know whether there's rules against it or whether it's encouraged or discouraged or how they feel about it, but they do it. So someone else could have done this. But it is very lovely. It's going to be dated to about the 1940s. It's pre-Eagle Mark. And um, let's see, the choker I listed for 75 Okay, that is it for now. We're going to be going on a picnic soon. Oh boy. Hi there. It is Sunday afternoon and we are off on another picnic adventure after I bailed out last week because I wasn't feeling well or something. I don't know what my problem was. but uh, So today we're going to a fairly local park. It's downtown and it has a river front or waterfront path somehow. We're going to just check it out and see what it's all about. So I'll get back to you when we get there. Well, here is our picnic spot. We found a nice place facing the park. And I think we're just going to sit in the car today because I'm too lazy to get the blanket out and sit on the ground and the car is more comfortable. <laughs> is it weird that I like to picnic sitting in the car? I don't know. Well, this is the path. <laughs> it's kind of noisy here. We're next to a freeway. <laughs> But it's, I've seen worse paths. It's not terrible.
lizard. Aw, oh, missed a lizard. Aw. Well, at least you can't hear the freeway quite as much. Yeah. They look like um, those things that you find on barns. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. It's not here. Like in the Midwest. There's a name for them. They were like ward off evil spirits. Pennsylvania Dutch things. Like there's some pretty awesome murals over there. And a birdie. Hello. Oh, there's a Nautilus. And a compass. Well, This mural's been here a long time. I think this was here when we first moved to Long Beach in 2009, because I remember it. It's cool. This is really close to where we used to live when we first moved here in our little apartment. <laughs> Look at this gigantic plant. Plant stand. That's pretty cool. And here's kind of a cool fountain. I have a plant like that in my front yard, but it's just like a tiny little stick. It's nothing like that. <laughs> Hi there, it is Sunday night, and these are a few items that I'm wrapping up to ship tomorrow. Um, most of these sales came in this afternoon, so that was nice. Um, so we have this uh, collage of Ottoman's Carolina parakeets. It's a really fun, bright, cheerful little picture. And the parakeets sold for 26 and then uh, this is a leather Ferrari glasses case. It's um, not vintage. I sold that uh, directly from my YouTube haul video through PayPal to one of my regular watchers. Thank you so much. You know who you are. And that was $17. Uh, then we have this um, needlepoint. Oops. It's always got my shadow on it somehow. A little framed uh, needlepoint floral picture, which I had to just take it off my dining room wall. My I've sold several things off my walls lately, and I've got a lot of bare places, so I'm going to need to buy some more art. I've been kind of shying away from it because I got so much from Rob Smother, but it's thinned out a little bit now. And of course, now I have some more from his sister, but we'll we'll, we'll deal with that anyway. Back on subject. Um, this needlepoint sold for $32. Um, let's see, then the jewelry. We had this ooh, almost a little those. Oh. oh, I just learned how to pause my recording. I never knew how to do that before. Huh. But I still had to stop it to uh, change the exposure. 
Uh, this is a mother of pearl little carved rose brooch. And uh, that sold for 18 Then we have uh, this lovely green turquoise ring. It's Native American, Navajo. It's got all this great stamping, including um, a little liz two, two lizards, one on each side. I love them. They're so cute. Um, I just listed this to set today, and it sold right away for 36 uh, this ginormous Mexican silver ring. It's really a cool piece. Looks kind of yin and yang. <laughs> um, that sold for 55 plus international shipping. And then lastly, we have these genuine egg yolk amber earrings. And they're really fun, big, chunky dangles. And those sold for 22 And I believe that is going to conclude my weekly vlog. Thank you so much for watching. And, um, oh, the usual rigmarole. Please give it a thumbs up. Um, comment if you care to. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Share with all your friends. And, um, yeah, that's it. So everybody have a good week, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.